everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lainey and today we are reacting to Ahsoka episode 3. I was obsessed with last week's two episodes. I think it makes a lot of sense that they released those two together because now I feel like we've done the world building we've done the build up we know what has happened so far kind of we still kind of need to see what happened between Ahsoka and Sabine but we know what the motive is for everybody for the most part and now we have a direction that this story and these characters are going in so I'm really excited to get into the rest of the story and kind of feel like things are actually moving forward so that's pretty fun and exciting oh my gosh if you guys watched my reaction to episode two you really should before you watch this one you can see how happy i was to see chopper again in live action oh my gosh after we saw him the first time in rogue one but that's it's not the same but just seeing chopper in live action i don't know it just meant so much to me because chopper is my favorite droid being able to understand him and just seeing him be chopper and it just feels exactly like rebels and it was just making me so happy oh my gosh i was having such a good time in the episode two reaction action show you should definitely go and watch that. Another thing I wanted to touch on was so many rumors have been flying the past week after the first two episodes and I wanted to touch on one that is super interesting to me that people noticed that Sam Witwer, if you don't know who Sam Witwer is, he is the voice of Darth Maul in The Clone Wars and in Rebels. He did an absolutely fantastic job working with Dave Filoni to make Darth Maul one of the most amazing characters in Star Wars. Some people noticed that Sam Witwer was in the credits for last week's episode, episode two, specifically Specifically, the episode that Maroc made his appearance in. Maroc is one of the Inquisitors that we see in episode two, but some people are speculating that Sam Witwer is Maroc, the Inquisitor. I kind of agree with that theory. I feel like the mystery around Maroc, I mean, everything they've said about him is super vague. We really don't know who he is, and he's just a random Inquisitor that is with Balin and Shin, and I think that's super interesting. So I really want to know more about why Sam Witwer is in the credits, and I also want to know more about who Maroc is, and whether it's Sam Witwer or not, I have no idea. I really, really hope it is though because Sam Witwer is fantastic. Balin and Shin are so interesting because they are a master and apprentice, but they're dark side users, but they're also not inquisitors. And I know last week in my reactions, I kept calling them master and Padawan and I kept calling them inquisitors. And I, I know that's completely false. It's just like in the moment I was watching and I was saying things that obviously were not true. I know that they are not inquisitors and I know that they are not master and Padawan. They are basically a master and apprentice, but on the dark side. I just want to clear that up. I don't think there's anything else I want to go through because I just want to jump into this reaction so let's get into it oh my gosh I didn't know who Yang could do drills with her it's just like well, her basic moves she did when she was training with Kanan well I discovered that according to who Yang I'm the worst candidate to be a Jedi out of every Jedi he's ever known you told her that <laughs> it's true that's so Here, funny you're joking I feel like she said you're joking because that's what Jedi use when they have the Force. I it teaches them to reach out with the Force. I wonder if she's trying to teach her to reach out through the Force. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought she was getting it for a second, but maybe not. Let's go again. Ahsoka the Master. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Chancellor Mothma. It's Mon Senators. Mothma! Uh, Chancellor Park Mothma, Foundation. that's interesting. Fine, Chancellor. In fact, he's on board. Somewhere. <laughs> Causing trouble with Chopper, no doubt. Most likely. Freaking Forget Jason Sindula. Oh my gosh, Kanan and Hera's son. We're gonna see today. him. Were you ever in the war, Senator? No. No. So shut up. He's so General loyal Sindula, to the Empire. I'm sure Grand Admiral Thrawn is dead. I'm sorry to say it is my opinion that your friend Ezra Bridger heroically died with him. You don't know that. I feel like some of the senators are loyal to the Empire Course. still. I had no idea Mon Mothma was Chancellor. That was, was that weird. common knowledge? Mom. Oh my gosh! Jason! He does Jonathan. have green hair. Wow. I want to be a Jedi. Mm. Yeah, I know you do, Jason. Stop. Uh, he wants to be like his dad. Uh, I'm gonna cry. Force resides in all living things, even you. If that's true, then why doesn't everyone use it? Talent is a factor. Interesting. But training and focus are what truly define someone's success. So you can learn how to wield the force if you don't, even if you don't have it, if you're willing to look deep enough inside. That's interesting. By their standards. Standards which were proven over a millennia. And failed 
You realize mm. historically they, they had did. Very, I suppose you do come from a long line of non-traditional Jedi. Oh my gosh, stop. Shut that your mouth. Way. Don't jump to a flashback, I'll cry. A long line of non-traditional Jedi. Obi-Wan, Anakin, Qui-Gon, Dooku. Stop. The force is in all of us. It's gonna be like in Avengers Age of Ultron when Cap like barely moved Thor's hammer. And we're gonna be like, did you see that? Oh. It's Shin. And Maroc. Sabine should be super used to doing this since she did it with Phoenix Squadron all the time on the ghost. All right, get ready. Ready. They're gonna work together. Ready. Now. There we go. Prepare turbo lasers. Turbo lasers? The first line out of Maroc sounds Copy. just like Sam Witwer's voice for it. It's him. I love when they say that. Work fast. I'm going out there. Out there? Out where? Just keep working. Going out there? What? Oh my gosh. What the heck? I don't think we've ever seen this before. That's so cool. <laughs> She's so cool. Shut your mouth. Did you fix the ship yet? <laughs> I got it. Great. Now get me. This is giving me complete Anakin and Ahsoka Sorry. vibes in the Clone Wars. Ahsoka sounds just like Anakin. What? What is it? A purgle! A lot of purgles. Oh my gosh! They're huge. What the heck? Okay, I was like, please don't go in its mouth. These scenes are beautiful. And complete. <laughs> I love him. Haven't seen those creatures since the day Ezra disappeared. Really? The Jedi archives speak of intergalactic hyperspace lanes between galaxies, which used to follow the migration paths of star whales named Purgle. Wow. Hunt them down. He's done. He's done. Those are definitely the same kind of men that Morgan Elspeth had working for her when we saw her in The Mandalorian. Wow. Wow. That episode was really, really interesting. We got to learn a little bit more about what Morgan Elspeth has in plan with that giant hyperspace ring. I thought that's what it looked like when we saw it for the first time last week. I thought I was like, wow, that look, just looks like a hyperspace ring, but it's freaking huge. So they're definitely looking to make a jump to a neighboring galaxy where they think that they will find Thrawn and Ezra, hopefully. But the Purgle might be a way for Ahsoka and Sabine to get there without using the hyperspace ring that Morgan Elspeth has made. So the Purgle are going to play a huge role in this. I am really excited to see how they use them though. It was really, really cool seeing them again. They looked so good. They looked incredible on screen, like in live action, they looked amazing. I think this series so far, the past three episodes, I mean, the CGI, the special effects, the acting, every, it's just spot on. Everything's amazing. The way that we got to see Sabine and Ahsoka work together there, toward the end when they were having their starfighter battle in space in the Danab system was really, really cool. I, it was a different dynamic than we've seen from them before. Before we kind of see them have such similar personalities. They're both stubborn, they're strong-willed, they were butting heads. But the way that Ahsoka kind of let go when Hu Yang said that the way both of them are acting, they're definitely gonna die. The way that Ahsoka was able to flip a switch and be like, oh, maybe I'm the problem. And if I switch, then Sabine may make a switch. That was really cool to see them actually be able to work together. It was kind of in the same way that Anakin and Obi-Wan worked together and Anakin and Ahsoka worked together. It was just really cool to see. And then in that moment, I feel like they had more of a fun dynamic, kind of like Anakin and Obi-Wan and Ahsoka and Anakin had. It felt very much like the Clone Wars, the dialogue and just everything that was going on in that scene in space when they were on the Starfighter it was so, so, so much like the Clone Wars. I loved it. Ahsoka's a great master. I think she's going to keep being a great master. An interesting line that Ahsoka 
Ahsoka said was that she doesn't need Sabine to be a Jedi. She just needed her to be herself. That's really interesting. And Ahsoka is making it seem like even if you don't have, I don't know, the midichlorian count or the means to be force sensitive, it doesn't mean that you can't reach inside and become force sensitive. And that's something that we've never seen before. And I feel like that is something that we're eventually going to see from Sabine. So I'm very, very excited to see that. Oh my gosh, we heard Merrick talk for the first time. And you know what? I'm, I'm just going to say it now. It sounds like Sam Witwer's voice work just with a voice modulator. It, I really, really do think that that's him. I think the speculations and rumors were true. I was getting Sam Witwer vibes from the voice coming out of Merrick. So that's so exciting to see Sam Witwer as an inquisitor in freaking live action. Oh my gosh, I'm ready for that. I'm really excited for that. We got to see Jason Syndulla for the first time. Oh my gosh. They did keep the green hair and it didn't look that bad. When I first saw him, I was like, oh my gosh, he looks like Kanan. And then I was like, wow, great. So if we have a Kanan flashback, you're gonna cry. So yeah. As you can see, here's my Kanan shirt. My friend Noah made it. If you don't follow or subscribe to Noah at Noah Nation Vlogs or just look up Noah Nation and you will find him. My friend Noah made me this shirt because he knows how much I love Rebels and how much I love Kanan. And now I wear this shirt all the time. So thank you, Noah, and definitely go give him a subscribe. Oh my gosh, I feel like when we saw the Senate committee and we heard that Mon Mothma is chancellor now, I feel like that's mo another reason why we see the New Republic fail. It's like they're making the same mistakes over and over again that the original Galactic Republic made, like assigning another chancellor. And now that we get to see that the Republic kept Empire employees and workers and just moved them and kept them and now they're just like, oh, swear on oath to loyalty to us and you can keep working with us. That's exactly why eventually the First Order is able to take power. It's starting to make a lot of sense now because obviously a lot of those people are going to still be loyal to the Empire. Empire. And we see in the Mandalorian that the Empire is not as scattered as those senator senators think. And honestly, I think some of those senators are still loyal to the Empire. So I think we're going to see some people turn on Mon Mothma. It was really cool to see her again. I think she's great. I loved seeing her in Andor. She was like the brightest spot of Andor for me. Where is Zeb? I need to see him. Where is he? I'm looking for him. He looked incredible in the Mandalorian and I need to see him in the show. We're three episodes in. We have five episodes left, but I need to see Zeb sooner rather than later. I don't even want to talk about Rex. I don't want you guys to know what that will do to me. I can't see that. I can't see that. I can't see Rex in live action because I feel like he's gonna die. But anyways, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications because you don't want to miss any reaction that I have to this series. It's freaking incredible. It's a great time to be a Star Wars fan. If you've gotten this far into the video, comment where is Zeb? Just comment where is Zeb because you guys, if you made it this far in the video, I love you and I appreciate that you've stuck around for this long. I really had fun watching this episode with you guys. Make sure you let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye!